Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new series. It's been a while since I've done a single-player mod pack. I think the last one was better Minecraft. This is called Dawncraft. I think it's kind of... I've, I've seen it a bit popping up in the meta of the 100 days videos, which is... It now seems to be uh, 1,000 days is the meta, so I'll just call this 1,000 days. And it's just going to be live-streamed instead of, um, you know, editing 50 thousand hours of footage but yeah we'll just go with the basic create a new world and head off to the races it's a big adventure oriented mod pack we've done a lot of tech and stuff recently with like stone block and obviously create above and beyond on the main channel so this is much more adventure combat dungeon crawling that sort of stuff so should be swick leveling up gear getting fancy armor and weapons and stuff like that Make sure to like the video, subscribe to Captain Sparkles too to stay tuned for more episodes, and follow on Twitch if you want to catch these live as we prepare for world. I am going to pause until it's ready. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there we go. It ended on the perfect, perfect timing. All right, overworld. Beach. What the? I don't have an arm. I don't have anything. Oh my god. Oh, there's a village. This is a good spawn. Yo, we got a six spawn. What's up, little tree trunk man? I got bright. Yo, I already have armor on? Wait, this is so sick. I need to rebind my perspective change button. But what happened to my glasses? What happened to the outer layer of my skin? Hail, fellow. You're finally awake. Welcome to our world. You must be confused as to why you ended up here and who you're speaking to, no? Well, regardless, I will begin my disquisition. Words, big words. As I do with every adventurer summoned here. Oh, you can't see text. That's such a point that is being made at the moment. Uh, it's fine, because I'm reading it. I'm reading it, and... I read, I enunciate clearly. Um, as I do with every adventure, uh, uh, you are summoned here to defeat the Ender Dragon. Fabled beasts like giants, werewolves, and even other dragons started appearing two winters ago, wreaking havoc and disrupting the balance of our realm. Our elders told us that the Ender Dragon has been blighted by a certain malicious deity, and that both the dragon and the deity must be destroyed to bring peace to our realm. Thus, we call forth your aid, brave adventurer. Obtain at least 12 mystic eyes. Use them to locate and open the gateway into the end. A few of these eyes can be crafted, but most are held by powerful entities. We don't know who or where these entities are, but their native inhabitants might have a clue. Look for their guild masters. They are most knowledgeable when it comes to these matters. You will need to get stronger, way stronger. The native inhabitants may also teach you different fighting skills, if you treat them well, at least. As a general rule of thumb, don't attack or steal from them. Don't steal from the, like, don't steal from the villagers? Huh? Uh, wait, where, are they gonna get mad at me if I go into their chests and start yoinking things? Do they actually know? They are not a forgetful bunch. Villager will remember this. They are, however, forgiving. So if you pay off your sin through their ledger chest, also, here, take a spirit to orb, collect four of them to upgrade your health or stamina. If you ever see one of my kind interact with them, improve your prowess and, and intellect. They will surely give you something in return. If you ever forget this information, an adventurer told me once that he jotted it down on a, p a place called the wiki. He said a seasoned adventurer will know what it means. I wish you well on your journey, my sweeting. Expect tough obstacles and roadblocks ahead, but know that they will only make you stronger. God be with ye. All right. Huh. Wait, this is actually really cool. So the premise, I like purposely didn't want to spoil too much stuff here. But I, it's cool that the premise is beat the Ender Dragon, but it's like turned the Eye of Enders into a, a quest rather than just crafting. That's interesting. Yeah, it looks like I have a stamina. Holy heck, let me go into my options and the sa the ambient sounds are, are a little loud with the birds and stuff. Maybe I can bring that down just a little bit, but also I need to rebind my toggle perspective here and that should be good. Oh, I have my glasses. Fantastic. 
I was just a little bit worried because they're not showing up there. What the frick? You just fall out of the tree, little coconut crab? Okay, well, shall we get a bit of wood? Punchy, 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 punchy. Oh, it's the freaking RL craft style of things, huh? I see. Okay, this is very interesting. I didn't realize. Yeah, I don't really know too much about this. I wanted to go in a little bit, you know, blind without knowing too many things so as not to spoil, but I do appreciate the uh, information provided by what I guess is a Zelda dude, bro. I haven't played Zelda, so I, I, I wouldn't know these things, but I guess that's a Zelda dude, bro. Now, are the crafting recipes normal? That's a question. Crafting table, cool, good. Can I just like make standard pickaxes and stuff like that? I guess we'll find out shortly enough. Let's see if it'll all work. He is a Korok. I gather that much, I just don't know about what a Korok is. Okay, so normal crafting recipes. I don't, so spirit orb, let me see. What do I do? It said that this can be used to like upgrade our health or our stamina or something like that. Let's see. Is there a crafting recipe that it's used in? No. What is this over here? Accessories. And, all right, village. A map marking the closest village near you. I wonder why it's here. Um, empty unique atlas. We know those. We've used them in RL craft before. It's pretty swick, though, dude. This is pretty swick. It's crazy. I can't see my fist, though, dude. Okay, so... <laughs> Brushland. Oh, this village is cool, though. I found the village! Advancement made! I love the... Exciting things! So, um, if I... Take this bucket. And, oh, bro, stalwart chainmail helmet of the Defender? Is there, like, different tiers of armor and we can get an Omega tier or something like that? Bro, tell me we actually have, like, cool, unique attributes per each armor piece. That'll be the sickest thing ever. Am I about to get penalized for having just taken that stuff? Are they going to be mad at me? If I talk to the villagers, are they going to be like, how dare you? You've just stolen from us. <laughs> Cause I'm like, how would they know? How would they possibly know? There's no way they could ever keep track of that. There's common, rare, and epic at least? Wait, that's crazy. But it's green, that means it must be Omega. It has to be Omega. Are there villagers around here? Okay, before I go and yoink other stuff, I just wanna, oh my god, my stamina is down. There's things on the ground though. What's on the ground? Oh, green is common? That's misleading. What the frick, dude? I'm used to Vault Hunter's Omega. <laughs> Come on. What the frick? What the frick is this? What the heck? What the... F is this like what a glow squid was supposed to? It's an evolved glow squid. You know what? I'm gonna give it a chance. If it glows, it it's chill. Bro, this village is, like, gigantic. Does no one live here? H have, have they abandoned you, my sheeples? Jaws. Coal ore. I'm, like, scared to take things. Do you think, is it a line of sight thing? Like, if a villager is in your vicinity and sees you take it, they're gonna get mad at you? Or, like, do they have a way to track it? Oh, look at that fish, that's cool. But there's no villagers here. There's no villagers at all. Chaotic gem? What? What? Chaotic gem. Wait, I can't even search for this. It doesn't even exist. It's not in JEI. I gotta take it. I've gotta take it. Whoa! What's that? There's something over there. Oh, that's crazy. You saw another YouTuber play it in its line of sight. Okay, so I can, I can commit crime? As long as they don't see me do it, this is good news. Very, very good news. <laughs> so that means I can loot all of- Wait, there's nobody in this village though, like is it abandoned? Why have they left? What, is it all iron? Oh, let's freaking go, hit the mother load, dude. Okay, so we can, yeah, 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 here we go, here we go. Let's just turn some of this into cobble stone. Stone Age, huge freaking maneuvers, dude. We are, we are doing crime. Crime only occurs if you get caught. Heck yeah. <laughs>
Dude, I'm already stoked. This is cool. This is, this is super duper cool. Machi crunchy, bro. Whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's where my arms and legs are. What the heck? Oh, oh, I'm Fortnite dancing. Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. <laughs> what the frick? Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> guys are like, please stop. It's, you cannot, he can't keep getting away with this. He doesn't get away with it probably. People just leave. <laughs> Wait, press R to turn on combat mode? I can see how this is picking up steam on the Minecraft 1000 days meta. I can, I can see how it's working. Is, oh, is there a vein mine? That is a good question. Let me see. Let me see. Let's do the default vein mine key, which is always grave. Turns out it's something else and I don't know what. Okay, been informed that vein mine is not a thing, which makes sense in an adventure pack like this for it to be more manual labor early on. I bet there's like hammers that you can get and stuff that mine bigger areas, but um, yeah, that makes sense that it would not be a thing. Okie dokie. Uh, R for combat mode though, like what? That's not doing anything, I don't think. I do not see a difference, but it's, yeah, it's got the cool like co combat animations and stuff. So, like RL craft. Oh yes, I need to convert this into cobblestone, and then I will make a furnace and start. Just kidding. This has enabled combat mode. What? What the frick? Is this fallout or something? And then I can switch. It doesn't give a visual. Okay, so there's no like visual indication of combat mode or not combat mode but it actually does do some freaking fancy stuff. Okay, I'm gonna need to find a bed to sleep in. I'm a little bit nervous of what kind of bad things come out at night in this place. So, boy, I'm gonna run out of stamina like ASAP Alapagus with my toggle sprint on, bro. Go, 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 go. Okay, sheep. Okay, sheep. Have we, uh, have we any, any beds? Any beds to sleep in? Please tell me that you've, like, someone has a bed. And yo, already for I don't know how to use the amp. I need knowledge. Here in my garage, I haven't read enough books, so therefore I don't have enough knowledge. Oh my god! Wait, am I not gonna? You don't know how to use the loom? What the frick? I'm gonna find a bed, and it's gonna be like you don't know how to use this. <laughs> you what, mate? What do you mean I don't know how to use a bed? Oh, it seems pretty straightforward to me. Uh, well, frick, I need a, a bed. Dang it, dude. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to break the thing. Oh god, it's... it's... Are you guys nocturnal? Like, where did you come from? Okay, ignore me, that's fine. Yeah, I didn't want to slay the sheep because I figure, especially if a villager is there, he's probably gonna be mad at me. <laughs> it's gonna be like, you slayed our sheep, prepared to die. They probably like turn into freaking ravenous monsters or something like that. I wouldn't be surprised. Does, do none of there is a bed? Thank goodness, bro. Make shears with the iron. Not a bad idea, actually. But anyway, I'm just gonna. Do you think they'll get mad if I take the bed? Surely they won't. Surely they won't be mad if I just steal a bed. This is red? What the frick? Doesn't look red to me. Yeah, I, I, I could make some shears, but it's it's chilling. We're chilling. I'll get wool anyway, but yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, oh, this is gonna be good for, um... It's gonna be good for getting myself some, some food. Do you think the villagers care if I yoink their food? Oh, that's wool. That's wool. I thought it was... I thought it was freaking food. I thought this was wheat. It just looks like wheat. Okay, whatever. You're you guys are disappointing me. I guess that's one way to get more beds in the future. Um. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't eat wool. Yeah. Watch me. I'll make it happen. Exactly, wonderful. Wool is delicious. If you've never tried it before, I recommend it. Even better, steel wool. Deli it's like a, 
even more of a delicacy than standard wool. Um, please don't tell me I can't use this. Okay, I can use this. That's good news. Uh, let's see. Wait, uh, coal. I'm there. Was there some in the in the things? Coal. It's coal ore. This will give me at least a little bit, right? Oh, look at that. Look at that munchy, crunchy coal right there. It's looking pretty cold. Oh, wait, no line of sight allowed. No line of sight allowed. Okay, no villagers here to watch me. Let me get that coal. Now, I wonder, like, how intelligent are these villagers? Are they able to track the process of, like, hey, that coal ore that he just put down that I now see him in line of sight, that came from the chest that he stole it from. Like, like how much can they track this stuff? That's what I want to know. The steel wool really cleanses the insides. Exactly. Exactly. Ooh, woo, fish, do woo. Thank you for four years. That's pretty awesome. Happy anniversary and stuff like that. And Kilroy with 54 months. Thank you very much, Kilroy. Very, very swick. Fast boy, thank you for gifting us up. Falcon Dark Shadow, nine months. AJ Sen, three months. And Monster RPG with 56 months. Black Dragon God with 34 months. Make sure you're following on twitch.tv slash captain sparkles in order to catch these while they are alive which will allow you to see all of the all of the theft and the repercussions as they happen in real time i still don't know how to use this spirit orb thing it said something about you know doing cool stuff but and this i'm gonna need a, i'm gonna need a, a wiki it said that i might know what that is and and i do actually which is so very cool all right, let's just get the full set of iron stuff to begin with. All right, there we go. And I'm assuming map of the nearest vill- Oh, wait, is this like- Oh. Oh! Apparently there is another village, so it's worth keeping this for the moment. Ah, uh, you need four orbs. You're right, I should look at quests. Oh, that's freaking genius. Okay, you can find information about Dawncraft in this book. Trinkets and more. The path to power. Storage. Oh my god. Okay, so there are storage drawers. There is a lot of Ars Nouveau. Witchcraft. Welcome to Hexaray. I this is a new mod. I have not done this before. Interesting. Enchanting. Oh, we got the hex shelves, boys. We're doing like level 100 enchants and stuff like that. Brewing, lost and found, notorious creatures in this realm. Notch. What? Notch is a notorious creature in this realm. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. It would appear that there are some new things for us to discover here. I am stoked though. Like, I'm assuming the goal is just beat the Ender Dragon, essentially. Well, and whatever magical deity is controlling the Ender Dragon. And, um,. I just like that it's it's just a you know taking the basic Minecraft and doing more with it. Exactly. All right. Anyway, I guess with that said, let's check if there's anything else. I would love to get more food. So per I just keep blocking myself. I don't know how this happens. But anyway, I'm going to grab some melons like a way to just munchy crunchy for a little bit. Maybe not the Optimum food source, but oh hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just let's just do a little bit of this. A little bit of this. And this is an actual food source. Uh-huh. So this is what this is what um hay bales actually look like. Maybe I don't need to worry about the whole melon situation. I'll keep it, but we are gonna want some backpacks at some point in the near future, I would imagine. That would be great. Um, try F5. I, you want me to play the whole series in third person? You want me to Fortnite dance while I'm mining things? I think that's going to not be the uh, ideal way to play things the entire way through. But every now and again, we'll check out how it looks for, you know, combat and things like that. Could be interesting. There we go. And beautiful. All right. Supposedly you're supposed to play through the mod pack in F5, but nobody does it. Yeah, that would be that would be insanity, bro. There's no chance. <laughs> There's no way. The entire thing in F5? Bro, I'd die so much. <laughs> I would die so much. Yeah, there do seem to be like um it does say certain crops are fertile at certain times of the year, so it's something to be mindful of, it would appear. 
Dude, I'm gonna need to up the stamina though, hundred percent. Okay, let me just. Oh, there's even more iron over here. You know, I might as well grab. Might as well grab more, and that way I can just get like full iron armor, assuming that it allows me to make it. I don't see why it wouldn't. It already let us make the sword and stuff like that, so I'm sure it'll let us make iron armor, which, given that there are dangerous creatures here, probably good to have. Can I allocate levels to skills? I don't know. I might need to look at a keybind for if there is a menu system that uh, um, like activates looking at what our skills are for level ups. I'm sure that the comments on the first episode of this on YouTube are going to have um, bountiful information about what's going on. Jenny Evie, thank you for the nine months of subage. Much appreciated. So, yeah. Wait, why is my POV so close? I'm pretty sure that I am um, playing at 90. So, yeah, we're FOV 90. I don't know what to tell you. That's my standard. You guys Quake Pro players? Because I have, like, that That tends to be a little bit, like, too extreme for me. I think it's just kind of disorienting because of the way that, like, the animations are working this time that are that are different than usual. So, yeah, bro. Quake Pro goaded. <laughs> um, why no good name? Thank you for the 29 months. The subage, much appreciated. It's just disorienting, like, with Quake Pro when you go down and you look, like, super tall and then you go forward. It's like, it just, I don't know. The perspective changes and how, I, I, it's all weird to me. Okay, so it just seems like pretty consistent loot between all these little outpost huts. Thank you, deep lukewarm ocean, I appreciate Oh, steel touched turtle shell of the volcano. Fire damage taken is reduced by 13%. Oh, it'd be, you know it'd be cool? It certainly seems rare. Oh, this is a rare, so blue is a rare. This is plus two armor. This is plus two armor, but this gives like other stats. Additional luck, 12% total speed, plus five weight. This thing seems dope. Oh man. Oh, I love the stats here. This is awesome. Oh my God, I'm like, I actually do go zoom with this helmet. Yo. Oh, this is cool. This is a pickup. This is a real pickup and a half, man. I actually do go zoom. Bro, I bet you that, like, I bet you boats and stuff actually have cool loot in them. I wonder if that has, like, z zombies or anything spawning in it. I could try to make a boat and go check it out. Oh, boy. More iron, everybody. More iron. Oh, you're right. I have water breathing. Yo. Wait. I could actually be a play right there. Purple is omega or mythical. That was a kraken nest. Oh, so, so a good... A good place to go early game, then. <laughs> I hear I hear Kraken, and I'm like, maybe not the best idea for now. Maybe we should uh, get a little bit better uh, things, you know? Maybe, maybe it's a better idea. Okay, I wonder if I craft, like, let's say iron armor here, right? I wonder if I craft iron armor. If I, um, okay, so I have a coal. Let me just get a little bit more. Do I get like random modifiers to it when I craft it, or is it just gonna be like standard armor to begin with? Or spawn flashbacks. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it'll be a little bit less um you know. Or spawn or spawn had things that were a little bit wild. <laughs> A little bit overpowered. It was an interesting mod, for sure. It was kind of just like, let's make things just super duper extreme. Not necessarily like balanced, just just extreme. And, uh, okay, so, 18 weight. Oh, oh, so it's gonna like weigh me down. Oh, it's gonna like weigh me down then. So I bet this is gonna frick up my stamina. So this gives me only six armor, but it's like, oh. So am I going to be like super slow? Is my stamina going to get fricked as a result? I wonder. Okay, so I want to like see how far can I run. So my stamina is full. If I run in this, see when my stamina gives out. Like can I make it to the water? So I basically can make it to here on a full stamina. Now if I take this off, does it let me run further? Does the stamina go down less? Doesn't seem like that big of a difference, actually. So I think it's still worth wearing, probably. But I do wonder if I make other pieces of iron armor, if it's gonna like add up and and kind of start to mess me up and weigh me down. Yeah, dude. The the I think the helmet is like 
ultra sick. That's ultra sick, dude. That was a huge pickup, especially if I want to do anything like in the water. Oh, and I wonder if a shield will weigh. Oh, what about like swimming? <laughs> Am I gonna. <laughs> oh, God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Am I gonna like sink to the bottom of the ocean? Does it. I wonder if it makes a difference. Does it? Does it? Ah. Uh, okay, hold on. I put that on. It doesn't really seem to make much of a difference that I can tell as far as like the swimming and stuff, so I don't know. Maybe it comes into play like in the actual combat or something. I have no idea. But anyway, all right, this is probably gonna be enough iron to last us a wee bit, so. I think we're, I think we're okay. We got a little five extra iron. Let's put on, let's do, no, 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 boots, boots, because we got a cool helmet. So might as well booty it up real quick for a little extra protection. And now we have many iron. Just need to find some more coal. I don't know if I'm going to regret not taking all this redstone. But ye. Okay. I'm sure, again, there are going to be some comments that are like, no, 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 no. This is what the weight does to you. Or we could check the wiki, of course, which will, I'm sure, have more information for us. Undoubtedly so. Well, <laughs> so if I go over to, say, that Kraken nest over there, is am I going to have a bad time? Am I going to have a bad time if I do something like that? Am I going to regret doing that? Dude, that's gnarly, though. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool, though. It's like a whole freaking skeleton. And I also... Oh, wait. There's, like, multiple things. Hold on. Yo, there's, like, a whole skeleton donger. And then there's a ship over there. Oh, there's cool stuff, though. It could be thumbnailable. It truly could. Well, I can get a better thumbnail after the fact, but... Okay. Surely he won't regret doing this. There's no way. My my thalassophobia is kicking off here. It's always better... It's always better when it's not, like, clear water, right? It's almost better when it's... Mer oh my god, is that a freaking underwater battle tower? Holy frick, dude. I don't think I'm ready for the underwater battle tower. What the... F what is Is he? Are you nice? Are you nice? He's not nice! He's not nice! He's not nice! I'm not ready for this! I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for- I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I am not ready for that. What about this? Is this gonna have a dude bro on top? Or is this a top to the bottom battle tower? By the way, Real quick. Okay, cool. Unlike our L crow. Oh, hi there. Yo, what a cool dude, bro. That scared me for a second. Unlike our L craft, we actually do have an F3 menu, which is great. That does look potentially underwater, though. Is this bad idea? Mind your step. I don't know if I want to be here or not. RIP stream compression. Um, what is this? Oxidized copper. What are you? Oh, is this a... Oh. This must be conduit. It must be like a conduit or something? So I can breathe in here. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. Oh, okay. Okay, hold up. Oh, frick. I didn't want to go back. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is it? Let me up! Let me up! Let me up! Is it the armor? Is it too much weight? Why am I getting sucked in? I'm getting sucked in. I'm getting sucked in! I'm getting sucked in! No, 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 no. It wasn't- it was- I swear that wasn't due to the magma. That was something else. That was something else. No, 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 no. I know what magma does. That was something, that was something else. That was another thing entirely. Uh, someone, someone had a, someone had suck depth dropper. It was a potion effect. I don't like that. I'm not ready. I need things. I don't think I'm ready for this. 
I don't think I'm ready for the big underwater battle tower that is underwater. Wait, oh, there's something over there. Something over there. Uh, okay, should I go back to the village? Or should I... Um, but surely you're ready for the Kraken. Oh my god, there's... There's inner... Wait, there's things! Oh my god, there's inner... Sentinel Knight! What the frick? What the frick is Sentinel Knight? I'm... I'm gonna assume that's a big boy, and we're... Not gonna... Be ready to fight... Him. That sounds like another thing that you're definitely ready... To encounter at this very moment. Bro, there's... There's so many things, though. Okay, I should go back to the village, maybe. Hold on, we're getting ahead of ourselves ever so slightly. Um... Oh, Sentinel Knights Underground. Ah, I see. Holy heck, dude, there's so much to conquer here. So you're building your own house or uh, stealing a structure? <laughs> Excuse me. I've never stolen a structure before. I've merely borrowed it. I resent that. Oh, God, the freaking... Yo, it's a... What's it? A mola mola. That's pretty cool. A sunfish. Okay, those dudes are definitely... Okay, there's multiple of them guarding the uh, shipwreck, so I'm going to take a pass on that. That seems bad, but I'll go to this one over here. The the one that's still floating is probably a nice ship. Oh, what the frick? Oh. Yo, what up, dog? How do I trade with... So they have, like, arrows over their heads, but I can't, like, trade... So, let's say, let's say that there is a world in which- I didn't steal anything from- what? I didn't steal- I didn't steal anything! What are you talking about? I just looked! I looked! No, 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 but here's what I'm saying. What if he happened to fall off the boat, right? What if he fell- what if he happened to trip and fall off the boat? And then couldn't actually see Wait, if you open it, it counts as stealing? If you open it, it counts? It's like piglins? Oh my god. How was I to know? Well, I might as well take it then, right? I might as well take it. If it's if it's freaking piglin rules now. Frick, then alright. I guess I'm just gonna take it. I can't use this though, unfortunately. String. Oh, we can make a bow. Raw salmon and seagrass. Um, oh, you're right. I could hopper out of chests. That's so smart. How do I actually like interact with you? Why are you like a locked chest? You're you're a th you're a thing. You're a person. Why are you Why are you behaving like a chest, huh? But okay, so <laughs> no witnesses. Well, yeah. I mean, I would have I would have just like nudged him. I'd have been like. Oops, my butt's too big. And then I would have, he would have ended up in the water, and then I would have been like, oh no. I wonder what happens if I access the chest, but. Anyway, do you, wait, yeah, yeah. Does it do anything when I hold the emerald? Huh? 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 No? Nothing? Okay, well. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. All right, all right, all right. Oh, there's another. Th wait. Oh, no, no, that's the ship. I just got disoriented a little bit. So. I stole your stuff. Sorry about that. I'm not going to push you into the water, though. That's, that's, because I, I have honor. I'm a nice guy, and, um, just learn from my mistakes, and next time around, um, so my social credit has gone down, which is not great, but on the other hand, I know now to nudge you off the boat. Next time. What's the green book in my inventory? What green book? The emeralds? <laughs> Those, that green book? Um, okay, oh, do we have, like, any bad, any bad dude bros over here, though? Maybe this is something I can check out without risk of doom and destruction. Here goes nothing! Oh, dude, I swim like, oh, god, I have stamina for swimming, though. That's kind of messed up. Okay, I have, I have good water breathing, though. I love eating bread underwater. and it doesn't get soggy. Okay, what is that? Oh, it's sea lantern. Okay, well, my breath is going down now. 
It, it seems like this might just be a, a structure that is cool, but doesn't really do much. Green, oh, this. That's just the crafting grid. <laughs> I believe we've seen that before. All right, all right. So maybe we're better off sticking on land to begin with, perhaps. Could be perhaps a good good idea. Um, yeah. yeah, 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 let's go, let's go check out, oh my god, you just, you keep tempting me with the iron, but I do feel like our two stacks is probably okay, at least, you know, for now. Oh my god, there's even more. Once I get an efficiency five pickaxe or something like that, then, then I'll go for things. Oh, what do we have? Plus eight weight, minus four total entity gravity, a geometric gem with purity 50%. Bro, I don't know how this stuff works. Is this, do I want to, do I want to do this? Do I want to, one man's trash. So what you're saying is this is trash. Well, okay then. Well, okay. It's just like, yeah, so what you've picked up here sucks, but I guess if you want it to be your treasure, then, then you can. So, that's great. <laughs> cool. Um, gravity means you jump higher. Ah, but it's minus 4%. Wait. It's red, though. Shouldn't it be plus? Wait, do I walk through leaves? Oh, you straight up, like, walk through leaves. That's fascinating. Shouldn't it be, like, plus 4%? It has reach, does it? Uh... What the... What? Huh? Hello? Combat! I'm going combat mode. Frick. Frick, 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 frick. I'm stunned or something like that? What the heck, Mitt, was that? Yellow spores. From Danny's expansion. Minus gravity means higher jump? Oh. I don't know how the combat system worked, but... Anyway. Let's check this out. Is this a new vill- Oh, hi, guys! So, line of sight, you say. Line of sight. Uh... Are they munchy crunchy? No, I feel like it would tell me if I could eat them. How do I enter this house? Is it up? Oh, it's like a lifeguard tower. You gotta like build up to it or something like that. Um, interesting. You don't see anything. Oh, it's freaking empty. No wonder he's not here. Excuse me. Okay, so, hold on. If I open any inventory, period, within line of sight of a villager, are they gonna be like, You thief! I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I can't open any of the barrels. I can't even see if there's loot. I just have to not. Those little, those pesky little villagers doing minus rep on me. Okay, however... Oh, dude, it's crazy that you, like, go through leaves as if they're scaffolding. So, hold on. I can walk through leaves like this, but then... That's weird. That's really weird. It is kind of, like, RL crafty, I guess. Um... Oh, it's a wild boar. I was really confused for a sec. Wait, did he just, like... Oh, I thought he knocked down wood. <laughs> but he's just snorting. Okay, this is crazy. This is like a battle tower, obviously. I wonder if there's a boss at the top. But this this one, at least I can worry about. Not have to worry about. Dra, 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 brr, uh, uh, holy frick, dude. Oh, Press R to enter combat stance. Damage dealt in regular stance is half as much as combat stance. Okay. Uh, how do I hit him, though? How do I hit... Oh, God, run! Oh, so you have to, like, stay still. Why can't I hit? Don't hit me! Wait, this is crazy! Ow, he hit me! Frick, frick, frick! Can I eat? Can I eat? Okay, I can eat. No, back off! Okay. Ow, he's coming at me, bro! Dude, this is insane, dude. 
Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Can I? I want to. I want to take thumbnail. Thumbnail screenshot. Thumbnail screenshot. I got him. Let's go. Let's go. What do we get? What do we get from that? By the way, uh, Sanguiseal Nuggy. Anything else? Was that it? That's all he dropped was a Sanguisteel Nuggy? I've been ripped, bro. You could have better thumbnail. Yeah, I can probably get a better thumbnail. You're super right about that. <laughs> but it's kind of an underwhelming drop. Put the gems in this, like, like here? Like that? No, not there. What are the sockets? How does one acquire sockets? Would it be like in here? Can I put it into my bobbles? I know it's I know it's how to do that. That was crazy, the freaking combat though, dude. That was gnarly. So you have to go into a combat stance. On armor for epic and above tier get Who the frick did that? There's another man's. Okay, maybe he'll do cool stuff. Ah, he has a gun! He has a gun?! I'm getting shot! I've just brought a knife to a gunfight! You want me to F5 this man's? Oh, that's crazy, actually! Stop shooting me! Go run out, mother of truck! You're making my bread go away! I gotta get this bread. Oh, what the frick? I just did a move on him. Did I get anything? Oh, a quick silver bullet. Well, I need a gun to be able to use that, presumably. Blood and madness. Bro, this mod pack is nutty, bro. This is a, this is a wild frickin' mod pack. Holy heck. What the, what the heck, dude? I just killed an owl. Great, 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 great. That's what I was looking to do. Uh-huh. Wait, oh, I have a crafting table. I just want to make a bow. I don't have any arrows, but I just want to make a bow. Because I can use the string for that and stuff and things. God dang it! Just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it, okay? Just stop. Don't say it. Don't say it. Oh, frick, I'm in combat mode. Um, I need to do quests to be able to dodge roll. Okay, okay. Well, how do I do the quest to be able to dodge roll? So, how do I learn to dodge roll? Pat the power. When you first start out, you will be outnumbered and underpowered. It's okay. That's the way it's supposed to be. You'll no doubt have to scavenge for your early game gear, but probably be uh, meet your death in the process. Be patient. Explore Minecraft. Follow the below steps to get your character on track to beat the most intimidating of bosses. Upon death, you will keep most of your items. However, you will drop some, such as ores, some materials, and currency, and these will be stored in a player corpse, which will despawn after seven minutes. Death will also damage your tools and equipment, as well as give you a debuff, will increase equipment damage and XP loss further from period of time. Dying repeatedly in a short amount of time can severely damage your equipment and cause increased EXP loss. That's a big yikes moment right there for me, dude. Combat mode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Whoa, dude. In some cases, you might still want to use vanilla attacks, such as when you're being grabbed by the... Iraq Narc from the Everdon Dimension. Do note the vanilla attacks deal half as much damage as in combat mode simply because you're not committing. You haven't committed. My pack would require you to travel thousands or even tens of thousands of blocks to locate important structures, bosses, biomes, and more to assist in this task. There are several useful ways to get around. Detailed in the below quests, many mods add additional ways to travel, which will be explained in their respective quest tabs, and finding gear with speed bonuses can also help. Holy heck, dude. Villages are of great importance. The guildmaster NPC found in each village will guide players through the mod pack's main quest. The main quest is required to unlock enchanting smithing and other gear upgrades and automation. These quests will see players hunting bosses for their rare Ender Eye variants. The guildmaster's hut is also where you can check your vill villager reputation. 
Huh, did we, I guess we didn't find that in the previous village, so maybe we want to go to that, or we could try to find the village that's on the map or something like that. More on reputation in the next section, finding your way. anti mod pass, uh, mod packs, map function, players will start off uh, with one by default, more can be crafted, markers can be added to denote points of interest, death markers. We were using this in RL craft, so kind of familiar. Players can equip a number of items in the special equipment slots, curios. Um, and then arcs can be found in the dimension added by the Blue Skies mod. This menu can be accessed by arcs. Okay. And primarily meant to be played in third person, but you switch perspectives, but binding it to a key can be a faster way to swap on the fly. Location of the crosshair relative to the player can be adjusted with the left and right arrow keys, and the camera zoom can be adjusted in and out with up and down. It just is, wow. Interesting. That's kind of crazy, bro. That's kind of crazy. Anyway, did we get bottles of XP for that? Oh, it's just giving me XP. So, you're supposed to, like... That's... Wild. Holy heck. Anyway, up... We might go into third person for some of the fighting, but... Mining and stuff is always gonna be easier in first person, I feel like. That's wild that it's, like, engineered for that. This is really cool! I can see why this is sort of, uh, becoming a bit of a meta for the 1000 Days series on YouTube. A test of time. Interesting. Um, you think over the shoulder would be easier? Yeah, it's just I'm thinking about for, like, other thing. I don't know. We could try it a little bit or something like that. Do, like, over the shoulder. You can't press and- oh, you can press and hold. So I could do something like this. That's so cool, dude! What the heck? Oh, that's so gnarly, what? Whoa, dude. Holy heck. Holy heck. Right shoulder, please? Bro, what? This is, this is like the, the, Fortnite does this, I'm pretty sure, right? Or is Fortnite the other way? I don't even remember now. I don't know how it works, but, okay, this is cool. Which way is Fortnite? Oh, is Fortnite actually the other way? Oh, I'm in combat mode, right. <laughs> oh, Fortnite is the other way, okay. It's actually crazy, though. Holy frick. Wait, there's spawners, though. There's spawners. Oh, God! I gotta back off. Oh, it's gnarly, bro. Holy frick! It's insanity! Wait, wait, wait. How do I, like, break the spawners, though? Oh, I can't, because it's freaking... Ow! Oh, God! They're behind me! Holy frick! Ow! Dude, he's freaking punching me, bro. Okay, I- Oh! Frick me up, dude! Oh, I'm- I'm doomed. I'm fricked. I am fricked mega hard. Well, that's gone badly. That was a freaking hippogriff, which are nice in RL craft. That's why I didn't think of it. Oh, I actually still have most of my stuff, which is, that's good news. I actually still have the grand majority of my stuff. Okay. Is that where, that must be where I was. Okay, I know where I am relative to stuff. <laughs> Beginner's grace, yeah, thank you for that. Um, that is good. But now I do have, I have the debuff, which is going to make things worse for me if I die again. So, okay. It's going to be hard to get used to that third person going in there. Um, I might try a little first person just, just for now. Don't, don't judge me, but right click Atlas and go to village. Wait, can you like actually fast travel? Hold on. Hello? Am I still in combat mode? Why can't I... I can't use my... My keybinds to go to different things in my... Inventory. What's going on here? Hello? Help. 
Hey, why doesn't it show anything on the map? Am I? I can't use my keybinds! Is there a debuff? Do I have a de fractured soul? Does it prevent me from using my number to get to the hop slot? Huh. Ow! Come on, dude! What the frick? Look at chat. Oh, accumulate deaths in a short period of time. You have no home, bed, or charge respawn anchor is obstructed. At, you're being annoying. Okay, I have to use scroll wheel to get this stuff? I am in combat mode. 100%. Now I'm not in combat mode. And now, okay, that was weird. It just, like, didn't want me to be able to swap out. Part of me wants to go and see if I can find the Guildmaster's hut in the village. Oh, hello, whale. I just, what is, oh, I was just zoomed out too far. Got it. Why was the, uh, I don't know why the atlas didn't load in some of the chunks that I've already been to. It's kind of weird. It seems like this would be the Guildmaster's hut. It's like the most dramatic building in the village. But, okay, yeah, maybe I didn't have it activated or something like that. This seems like the most guild mastery place, but we already were in here, and we didn't find any guild master, so I don't know. I don't know. Bro, I kind of want to, like, go in and just see if I can break the spawners that were in that thing. I don't know if it's worth making a house, though. Let me see what backpacks require in order to make. Also, I need to figure out how to get knowledge. Okay, so I need leather, leather, string. Okay, okay, that should be pretty easy to do, and as long as I don't need any knowledge. Oh, and it's the same backpacks that we've used in Vault Hunters. That's sick. All right, all right. So, good thing I threw away some string and stuff like that. That was definitely a good call. Um, put my atlas in my offhand. All right, can do, can do. Why is it, sh it's weird. It's not showing the village on the map. It's just showing water. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, this isn't really a village. Oh, this doesn't actually count. So in that case, I actually do need to follow this in order to get to a genuine village then. So that's going to be to the north. West. So it's that way. It's that way to get to a genuine village. You can only carry a single backpack at a time. Well, okay, so I wonder if it's worth just trying to get to a village. Follow this map, because it did say villages are incredibly important here. So maybe that can be like thing number one. And if it is very important, then we can set up a home uh, near that first village. Um, dragons may appear. Please beware. Oh, this is so gnarly, dude. Wait. And so if I then go into, yeah, this way, it sets me into, like, a, an interesting over-the-shoulder forward camera. I also have a crossbow on my back. Oh, no, it's just a bow and a sword on my back. That's really cool how it displays everything. Really cool. And then... Okay, so let's bring that back. I like how it lets you still see the map. All right, let's find the village. Sentinel Knight, so uh, presumably underground. I bet you that tree over there does danger things. Oh, but there is another thing over here. Hold on. I'm assuming this is also not a real village. But, whoa, wait, there's a freaking blimp above it. Do I want to go into the blimp? Do I want to go into the blimp, or would that be a mistake? Perhaps. Hmm. What is this place? Anybody in here? Hello? Anybody home? Hey! Ow? 
Wait, that's not the Sentinel Knight, is it? Oh, there's multiple boys! There's multiple boys! There are a lot of them, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, there's lots! Holy freaking what the, no, not again, not you! No, not you, not you, not you, please, why? What the frick, he goes underwater, he go fast, he go vroom! Not a, these guys are gonna ruin my life, bro. These guys are gonna ruin my life. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. So, also doesn't show that this is an actual village. Holy frick. Holy frick. Yeah, no, the, the combat is going to be, definitely gonna be getting used to moment, but, um, Okay, I need to actually take this out of my offhand because I access it every time I try to eat. It's a good thing we got some bread though, huh? That was good. <sighs> it's just I look like a turtle from above. Oh god. There's a there's a tent over here though. Um so you guys want me to try oh that that guy is he bad? Oh wait. Barbarian. I don't think they like me. I'm I'm getting a sense that they don't like me as they approach me in slow motion. I broke my boat. Oh, I'm in I'm in not combat mode at the moment. Actually, you know what? This is a good way to tackle this fight. Did you drop anything? I don't see why you had to be aggressive to begin with. You could have just not been aggressive and Everything would have turned out, like, so much better. Do you guys even have, like, loot? Oh. Oh, he's walking over sternly. Very sternly. Oh, wait. This is just... Yeah, I'm freaking doing this. Hitting, hitting him with the crits, bro. Hitting him with the crits. Yeah, that's what I thought. What did we get here? Kind of whatever skis And basically broken. <gasps> wait. Oh, God. Why does he sound like a freaking dragon, dude? Oh, that looks kind of cool. Bro, my inventory is going to fill up like unreal. Um, raw mutton, raw pork chop. Oh, hey, man. Hey, we can talk this over. We can, we can talk this over, dude. I like, you know. They're not dropping experience either, are they? Are they just gonna keep coming? I do feel kind of bad about this whole thing. Just a little bit of a misunderstanding, a snafu, you might even say. I'm gonna sleep. Um, <laughs> put down your bed, the griffin's gonna get. No, no, no. Dude, I have a really bad feeling that the, uh, that the blimp is bad guys. I have a really bad, I'm gonna get rid of the extra. I, I got inventory management is kind of a big thing right now. This is just gonna, yeah, this is just gonna be what Evskis for me. The gel, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta pick and choose really. <laughs> Climb the blimp. The blimp certainly isn't going to be full of spawners, right? Right? I'm gonna go over here, and surely the griffin will not still be present, right? It'll be a nice place full of being nice and stuff. Uh, village first, blimp second. Do you think... Do you think that's the way to go around it? Maybe? I could actually... I can waypoint things on the map, right? I believe... I believe that I can do, because I bet that the blimp, if I'm able to get in, it will have loot, and I'd like for my inventory to be a bit more empty, otherwise I'll be highly ineffective. I'm gonna add a marker uh, here for blimpy poo. What should I call it? A, um, probably a skull. <laughs> if I had to guess, it's a skull. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's just keep following the whole map situation to see if we can get it does say closest village so hopefully we can find that and it will be very nice making sure we're still heading northwest yep 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 very good very good 
I just don't want to, you know, die again. <laughs> Even though I can set the bed down, obviously, I just feel like I feel like living a little bit longer. Is that a roguelike entrance right there? I have a I have a terrible feeling that's a roguelike entrance. And and we're going to have to deal with roguelikes but in third person with combat mode. Oh yeah, that's a roguelike entrance. Okie dokie. So, let's uh let's continue along and Find that village. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is really cool, dude. This is really, this is really swick. It seems like a, it's almost like a spiritual successor to RL Craft in a way, but like, you know, different and, and new and innovative and stuff like that. So next episode, roguelike time. Yeah. Definitely the way to go. I would say that seems about our villages like villages must be like super gnarly uh, Structures that are few and far between or something like that. I have to imagine then is this a Sergeant the soaked is protecting this treasure Sergeant the soaked, huh? Hello Sergeant the soaked you're looking a little intimidating today. Do I do I wish to fight Sergeant the Soaked? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. And now I'm gonna attempt to fight Sergeant the Soaked. Ow, he hurts badly! It's Jesus Christ, Sergeant the Soaked! I'm going to need some ranged weaponry um, because Sergeant the Soaked is a is a scary man's. Okay, I need to retrieve my bed in Turntail and run and and come back later. Hold on. Don't worry. I'm going to use the antique atlas here and uh, uh, it's going to be a little marker here for mm, Sergeant the Soaked. <laughs> Good, good times, good times. Yeah, uh, shield, dodging, there are probably a lot of ways that I could, I could do better here, but for now, I gotta go, brr, 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 frickin' combat. Okay, go, 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 run. I'm a coward, I go. Huge coward, I leave now. Trap him? Um, I, I feel like the odds of my successfully trapping him are small. To say the least, the odds of dying are greater, so I will return with a better strategy at a- Oh yeah, lava, actually. Lava could be a good way to do it. I wonder if they're lava resistant, because I do feel like lava would probably be like a big way of cheesing stuff, you know? Oh, this is a cool cave, bro. A beast patient. What the frick, mit is you? I'm gonna just keep it- I'm gonna keep it moving, dude. Oh, you might burn their loot. Mmm, good point, good point. Oh god, I was like, oh god, am I about to fall into a freaking cave? Swampy boy. You're seriously gonna make it rain on... Oh, what? Somebody hit me. Oh, is this the village? It's not, apparently, because it's not showing up on the... Oh wait, it might be the... No, it's not the village. This isn't the village? What are all these not villages that I'm running into that look distinctly village-like? But aren't villages, apparently. Uh... Huh. The ambient rain noises are pretty gnarly, though. I'll give it that much. Um... Boats just really do not look very boaty. Which is messing with me. I can't put the boat... That's a bi big fish. A very big, big fish. Do waystones actually exist in this? This is a good point. I should check that. Waystone. They do! Oh, they do. That's awesome. This rain is not as bad as, like, standard rain, but it's it's still not ideal. Okay, I want to swim fast. I want to swim very fast. Hello. Hello. How do I get on top of things? Everything is, like, suspended in the air. Maybe I can get up this way. 
Oh, okay, it'll have a waystone if it's a village. Gotcha. Uh-oh. Is this a village that is full of witches? I have a bad feeling that this is a village that is full of witches. Which is going to be bad for my health. Huh. Hello? It is I, your fellow witch. I've come to greet you, your long-lost sister. I would like to learn your powers and secrets. Uh, ooh, what do you have here? Uh, you left a gift for me? That is so nice of you. Ooh. Plus seven weight, three armor, set bonuses. Which is most valued outfit? Could be cool. Stealing from witches, I don't think, is going to matter as much, he says famous last words. Well, everybody, I think we must wind down the episode for right now. But this is, I'm excited to continue this. Hopefully you are too. Make sure to like the video. If you're watching on Captain Sparkles 2, help us get to our target goal of six likes. And uh, subscribe to Captain Sparkles 2. Follow on Twitch to catch other stuff. And subscribe. And I said that, but... Yes, thanks for watching. Playlist for more episodes, and I'll see you next time.